if you stood as leader uh, and if you if you became prime minister can we just uh, find out what sort of country that would be as a result uh, and your beliefs on things you're a brexiteer yes. aren't you do you think that eu nationals who already live in the uk should be allowed to remain oh yes i wanted to say that immediately after the referendum i think that people who have come here legally uh, should be fully protected all their rights should be preserved because they did so under a fair understanding of what our law was. It shouldn't be changed to affect them retrospectively. That would be deeply unfair. OK. Um, what are your views on same-sex marriage? Is well, that something you support? I'm a Catholic, and I take the teaching of the Catholic Church seriously. Well, there's plenty faith of Catholics who support same-sex marriage. Um, but marriage is a sacrament, mm. and the decision of what is a sacrament lies with the Church, not with Parliament. OK, does that mean that you oppose same-sex marriage? I support marriage? the teaching of the Catholic Church. Can, I, can I just establish, do you oppose same-sex marriage? I support the teaching marriage? of the Catholic Church. But well, that means you oppose... I mean, I'm that's a Catholic, but I actually don't agree with the Catholic Church. Well, teaching. that's fair enough. You, you, you're, you do? I, I support the teaching of the Catholic so you, Church. So you, you oppose same-sex yes, marriage? I, I, same why, why are you afraid to say you oppose it? Oh, the, the teaching of the Catholic Church is completely clear. But it's you the, voted it's against the, I, I did. it, did The you? marriage issue is the important thing that this is not how people arrange their lives, it's that marriage is a sacrament, and a sacrament is under the authority of the church, not of the state. This is exactly the argument uh, that Thomas More made in opposition uh, to the marriage of Henry VIII so, and Anne Boleyn. So religion plays a big part in your politics, it seems. Do you think R that gay religion, sex is a sin? Um, the, again, on the issue of sin, it is quite clearly under the teaching of the church not for me to judge. I very strongly feel that I should not judge what other people do. If you think if we want to be religious this early in the morning, um, if you look at the woman taken in adultery, what does Christ say? Let he who is without sin cast the first stone. And it is not for me to but cast you've just, stones. If you don't mind me saying, you've just hidden, not hidden, but you've no, used... No, I haven't. No, 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 I'm going to rephrase that. You have used your, your Catholic belief to rather than say you oppose same-sex marriage, say you support the Catholic Church. Mm. She's teaching that. The Catholic well, Church... But the, but the Catholic Church believes that gay sex is a sin. So I don't think it's unreasonable to ask you, as indeed uh, Tim Farron was asked, uh, and it caused him a lot of damage, just a straight question, whether you uh, think it's a sin. I think I've answered the straight question, that is, that the teaching of the Church in matters of faith and morals uh, is authoritative, but it is equally within the teaching of the church, that it is not for me to judge okay. others. So and can if I just you were Prime yeah. Minister, yeah. Hold on just would the teachings of the church take precedence over your political views? These matters within the House of Commons are free votes. They are not party votes. They are not an issue of party politics. Um, but so you the... are being tipped as someone who would lead a party no, no, no. and potentially become Prime but, Minister but, but, of a multi faith country. Hold on, hold on. None of these issues are party political. They are issues that are decided by Parliament on free votes. They are not determined by the Prime Minister. There is no question of any of these laws being changed. There would not be a majority in the House of Commons uh, for that. But why I emphasise the teaching of the Church mm. is that I want to make it clear that I am supporting something, not I am opposing something. That is to say... The same thing, I, though, isn't no, it? No, it, it's not, actually. It's subtly different. Um, I don't want to criticise people who lead lives that are different to mine. But equally, I don't want to divert from the historic teaching of the Catholic Church. OK. So if I were to say to oppose, I would be inadvertently condemning people. So what people, is your view, for example, of... More briefly. The drug war is a failure. Get rid of it. Oh, you d libertarians and pot. Um, first of all... And heroin and oxycodone and all of it. Look, this is why people think libertarians are... We're living in a country that is 70% socialist. The government takes 60% of your money. They are, uh, they're taking care of your health care, of your pensions. They are telling you who you can hire, what the regulations What's can be. What's to do with the drug And war? you want to suck up to your little liberal friends and say, oh, but we want to legalize pot. You know, if you, if you were a little more manly, you'd tell the liberals what your position on employment discrimination is. How about that? They do that no, you too. Le oh, no, you don't. It's always, oh, we want to what? legalize just lastly, before the students get to ask questions, gay marriage. Why can't gays get married like straights do? Um, well, they can. They have to marry a member of the opposite sex.
Why can't they marry a member of their sex? No, I think you. I, this is another one where you're just sucking up to liberals when there are big fights. We really no, need we to believe be having in a very individuals should be right left now. alone. But my reason, it has nothing to do with libertarians or gays or anything else. Marriage is the most important um, institution to civilize young people, bring them into. I mean, I, if you, I want to make divorce a lot more difficult too. Um, liberals want to destroy. This is an important point, libertarians. You listen to this. Liber liberals want to destroy the family so that you will have one loyalty, and that is to the government. All right, you students, I'm sure want to weigh in here. I really am just kind of annoyed with the fact that you are just perpetuating the stereotype that all our libertarians are quote unquote stoners. I have never smoked pot before. I don't think you are I, I never want to. I never want to try, in all honesty, the drugs that are illegal, I, I don't want to try any of them. I don't think any but, of you are stoners, you're nerds. He asked me about no. pot legalization. My question is how is it, how is it any of your business what I choose to put in my body if I'm not affecting anyone else? Let the lady answer. Okay, first of all, for alleged individualists, you're very mob-like. Um, second of all, it is my business. It is right, my business. But the business question is, why is it your when business? we are living in a welfare state? You get rid of the welfare state, and then we'll talk about drug legalization. But right now, I have to pay for, oh, it turns out, coming down the pike, your health care. I have to pay your unemployment when you can't hold a job. I have to pay for your food, for your housing. But if, yeah, you're, if it's someone's not using any of those programs in a hypothetical world or whatever, then would you be okay yeah, with yeah, it? I, I, look, um, if we didn't governor, have a socialist country and you didn't have to pay for their see, drug that's use, that's exactly the point I'm saying you guys ought to be concentrating on. We live in a welfare that was state. An she won't answer the question. I'm right. answering the question. <laughs> Thanks, I think. I answered the question. Would you say all the drugs should be legal if we didn't have a socialist health care system? I wouldn't care. Okay. Next question. Hi, I'm Robert Thomas from uh, the College of Charleston, and I just first like to say you have just been lovely tonight. I think you've been great. Um, no, a lot of respect. Um, but I kind of have a problem with the way that you're talking about gay marriage and the way the libertarians here are kind of talking about gay marriage because I've kind of always seen the libertarian position on gay marriage as kind of a third way. We don't say what the liberals say, which is that you know the government should define it one way or the other. We say that the government should not be involved in marriage at all. Um, my, my question is, what, what is wrong with that uh, third way position that Ron Paul has advocated? Well, again, we're way past that point. I think it would be very hard to achieve in any event, but the government issues divorce decrees, it issues alimony orders, it issues child support, child custody. We're beyond the point of saying, oh, I just think government shouldn't be involved. They are involved. Okay, next. Thank you. Hi, I'm Irena Ruby from Drexel University, and I just wanted to ask, like, what gives you the idea that people who are in a third party specifically because they won't compromise their beliefs would hold an opinion just to suck up to a bigger party? Because I think there are much bigger issues. If you are a genuine libertarian, there's an awful lot to be privatizing right now. I mean, why do we have an education department out of Washington, D.C.? When Ronald Reagan Beats ran for office, why do we have a commerce department? Why do we have agricultural subsidies? We're, we are living in a, in a nation that's 70% socialist. There are serious issues where we can really use free marketeers. And, and, and what do you ask me about? Legalizing bot. That's well, why I say you're sucking up to liberals. Oh, let's just say the things liberals would like. Let's tell them we're going to legalize okay, prostitution Okay, let's do a couple more here. My question has to do with marriage and the fact that you just said that you think that it should be more difficult for people to get 
divorced. Um, as an independent woman who has put myself through college, I'm in my senior year, went back to college, um, and also as someone who has bought my own home with my own money, I am going through a divorce, and this is the most difficult thing that I've ever had to do in my life. Why do you feel that it should be more difficult for someone to get divorced when something has not worked out? Um, well, I don't know your personal circumstances, um, and I also don't like anecdotal examples, but I mean, I, when you buy a refrigerator to break a contract to get to return your fr refrigerator is, is more difficult in most states than to break a marriage contract. It's very difficult. Right. It's been a year. Right. It should be easier to get rid of a mechanical device. It's been a year and it's still very difficult for well, me. Well, I don't know what the laws are in your state. They vary uh, state to state. Yeah, we can't should be solve taken that here. Yes. Obviously, you've mm -hmm. pressed a lot of buttons. I thank you for that. Please thank her for going into the lion's nest, Van Coulter.